Today I want to walk you through how I shot this milkshake photo to help you guys get a better understanding of what it takes to capture a shot like this. And if you stick around till the end, I'll even show you my lighting setup and camera settings. What is up guys, welcome back to The Raw Factory. My name is Jacob and the goal of this channel is to help you become a better food and product photographer. Now, I recently taught you guys how to use layer masks in the last Photoshop tutorial and I thought this would be a great opportunity to show you guys how much of an advantage learning the layer mask tool in Photoshop could be for your photography. And if you haven't seen that tutorial, I highly recommend you check it out later, which I will leave linked below for your convenience. Now the trick to ending up with a final photo such as this is actually by photographing each drink individually and then stitching them together in Photoshop. This is called compositing. Think about it for a second. If you look at this image, there is no way I would have been able to shoot each individual drink in one go. I mean, look at the melting of the drips, the cream, the coffee with the milk being poured into it. All these are like perfect timing. There's just no way I would have been able to do it in the one go. So let's open up the Photoshop file and walk you through my process. Now, the first step for me always is to load in the background image, clean it up, make sure you're happy with how it looks, the background, the blocks, the props, whatever is in that shot, you are happy with. Now, moving on to the drinks, let's begin with the strawberry milkshake. If I turn on the strawberry milkshake folder, you can see that the drink appears. And if I open up that folder, you will see three other folders. They all make up the one shot. That's right, it's a composite. Notice the black and white layer beside it. That is a layer mask. As I mentioned earlier, I have a video on that, so I do recommend you do check that out later on. Now, watch what happens if I disable the layer mask. You can now see the full original image. However, we do want the layer mask on, as I only want to show the strawberries. Now, moving on to the cold brew coffee. The first folder is a custom shadow. I had some problems with the shadow, so I just made my own. Then the second layer is the coffee drink with the perfect timing of the incredible pour shot. Then I've added the beans and the straw. Okay, next up is the caramel milkshake. One has the perfect whipped cream, the other has the perfect caramel drip. If we open up the drink folder, you will see I stitched two images to make this drink. And now to add in the caramel lollies with the delicious oozing of the caramel sauce being topped on top of it. It's all about the detail, people. It is all about the details. Now, last but not least is the coffee splash. This is made up of three images. The first being a shot with the fake ice cream in frame. The other being the drink with fake ice cream being dropped into it so you can capture the splash. Now, if you struggle with capturing splashes, I do have a video on that, which I'll leave also linked below in the description for your convenience. And for the last shot is the chocolate blocks with the chocolate sauce being drizzled on top. And here is the final composite with all the layers mushed together to make this one shot. Now, it is time to show you guys the setup for this shoot. I'm using a 50mm lens on a full frame 1DX Mark II. My camera settings are f16, shutter speed 1 200th, ISO 100. My main key light is in a large rectangular softbox shining through a large scrim of translucent diffusion. I also have a large white bounce card on the right side which bounces light back into my image. For the second light, this is just a fill light which is pointing up at the ceiling, bouncing light all over the room. This is called global illuminance. For my backgrounds, I have two color sheets of colored paper. These can be bought from your local paper supply store. I purchased these from Officeworks. And lastly, these are white wooden blocks which I made myself. Now, if you want to make your own, I have a video on that which I'll link below. Well, that is all for me today, guys. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe to help others find this video. And I will see you all in the next one. Remember, don't wait, make something creative today. Catch you guys.